this first word is desperate. I'm beginning to feel as if I'm going mad. I mean, I always knew I was odd, but I never thought I was crazy or disturbed. Now I'm not so certain. I have not been outside in so long. I never thought I would miss it this much. I am happy as an introvert, but now that I may not leave the house, I'm beginning to lose my mind. Not that I'm sure I even had one to begin with. I'm desperate to see the outside world, to see my friends, to visit my family, to go to Tesco. I'm not sure if the television shows, films and books are enough to keep me from losing it all at the moment. They used to be, but now I don't know. The only time I leave the house is to go for a quick walk around the village with my mum, and sometimes my dad, my dad joins us as well. But that's quick because my mum can't be out too long because she's one of the small, pe small group of people who have to isolate for 12 weeks because they are at risk. My mum thinks I'm at risk because of my shitty immune system, but I don't know about that. One of the only things keeping me sane right now is Pokemon Go, which is ironic because I, can't, because I cannot go anywhere. But my mum and I go for walks, we catch Pokemon, we hatch eggs, then after, minute, then after a few minutes we are back inside for the monotony to be begin again. I really wish I brought my macrame with me when I left Aberystwyth. Doing that would really pass the time. Speaking of Aberystwyth, I long for a walk down the seafront or through the woods near the student village or even just to walk down the hill to the School of Arts. I miss Aberystwyth and the sea air terribly. I miss the belongings I left in my room that are waiting to be collected when I next can. I am desperate for some of my things I have left there. My books, my favourite t-shirts, my supernatural friends box sets, my little coffee shop that I set, under my de set up under my desk. I miss working at the gallery and staring at the brilliant works of brilliant artists on the wall. The last exhibition was on Gerald Scarf. I knew of him but I had no idea of the extent of his works. He designed the characters for Hercules and did the animation for Pink Floyd's The Wall, which is absolutely amazing. Fun fact, my mum was an extra in that film. All these things I miss terribly are only adding to the madness. I'm definitely going stir crazy. So much so that I could just bounce off the walls, but I won't. While I'm at home, I'm working in the playroom rather than my bedroom because there's not much space to work in there. And my parents get nervous when I'm shut away in my room because the last time I did that, I was self-harming. See, so I'm so crazy that I'm just rambling nonsense. This is what my thoughts are like right now, just non-stop. But anyway, yes, the walls in the playroom have stags all over them and they stare at me while I sit here and watch Netflix or do yoga or read and write like I am right now. They stare at me with their demonic silver eyes. Sometimes I swear I've seen them blink. They stare, oh they do stare at me while I work or while I relax or while I do anything in this room for that matter. They are my audience for my life. The, my very dull, very boring, very repetitive life. The wallpaper laughs at me for it, for it is used to being stuck inside the house all day, but it never leaves. But I do, but I do, and now I cannot. It laughs so heinously at me. Help me, please. I'm desperate.